everybody and welcome to a new tutorial today i will show you how to draw this simple and easy photo camera in autocad 3d so let's get started with the base here we have the dimensions 100 as you see 30 and the height it's 10 plus 50 so 60 so let's recap 100 30 60 so let's go to autocad now let's build first the length make sure that you have the auto command active so we have here the length of 100 then we have 30 then we have 100 again you can also zoom in a little bit so 100 as i say you and 30 okay now let's press the home button and make sure that we will press pull now so we will use the command press pull with the length with the height of 60 units okay everything is fine now then let's go in the right plan and go now a tool new ucs at and view now let's build this little thing so here we have an object that has exactly the length of 30 as you see the height of 10 and 30 right here and of course an angle of 45 degrees so keep it in mind again 30 10 30 and the angle of 45 for sure so i will build the line right here so 30 and then 10 and then 30 again let's say it doesn't matter too much okay now i will build the line right here you can also deactivate ortho command press add key let's say i need the 30 but the angle is very important so the angle of 45 and i'll go with the fillet radius zero and let's have a look press that home button okay our object is pretty far but it's not a problem let's move it a little bit maybe it's better to have the auto command active just in case so move okay our object is closer and now use for this object so select it all just all these four lines and press join command so join command is very important because now we have just one object and now let's go with the press pull command because we must have here a width of 30 units so our object is complete now now is the time to move our object so move select the middle here as you see and select the middle also here okay and now let's go to the other step let's go to the picture and here we have another circle that has a diameter of 20 and we can find it as exactly the middle so 15 and 15 but because it is exactly symmetrical we can go with the line right here the length of course of 15 and we can already build the circle so the plan for the circle is not good must go on the back you see back plan select again from tool new ucs and view and let's build a circle with the diameter 20 so select press d from diameter and press 20 now let's go back start to move a little bit and the height here it's five exactly like in the other object we will see after that so go with the press pull again and press five let's back to our drawing so here we have a little rectangle but here we can see that it is on the same distance so 15 15 and we don't know exactly what are the dimensions but let's assume that this thing is 10 let's say so let's get back so 10 10 we will uh, draw a line of 10 right here 15 sorry and height of 5 so let's build the first line find the middle and build 
align with 15 units okay now we can build our rectangle add key again 10 and 10 now it's the time to move you can see also to from the top let's select now again new UCS view select the rectangle find the middle and put it right here yeah you can delete this line as well home button again as I showed you before and now press pull with five units just this little area and then let's focus on the other circle so the other circle it's exactly on the middle you can see it so let's draw two diagonals right here and right here and then the circle have the width 20 the height actually of 20 units and the diameter 50 units so first of all let's build those two diagonals from one corner to the other and then we must build a circle right here and our circle i said you press d from diameter and has the dimension 50. then you can delete these two lines you don't need them anymore and go with the press pull command and press 20. for a better vision you can go right here and press shaded with edges like in previous videos i showed you now let's go from the union command select the whole object enter and when i click on it it's just one object not three four or five and so on objects i hope this video helped you as always don't forget to like share subscribe and see you next time